Yeah, you'll just be right there, my flat leaver, trying to go and hang out with her friends and leave her poor old aged mother alone. Like that's what she does. Mm. We can spend together tomorrow together. I don't want to spend tomorrow with you. So anyway, so you guys, what's up? It's your girl April. So as you see, my little co-host sitting in the back right there. She's about to leave me and go hang out with her friends, her little best friends. But that's cool because she needs to go and have fun. So this. This video today is not really random but it's all about my tattoos I think I have been asked this question for like the past two years now and we're just gonna get into how this all happened okay so in general I think I have 15 tattoos all together some of them have been covered up but you still have to count them because they're still there um, and they're really not covered up all the way so it started out with my very first one I don't remember how long ago that was I know I was living in New York they are all from New York except for one which is a cover-up um and this was like my very first tattoo it was a tribal band and um i want to say it was probably like back in 90 1998 when i got this first one which was this one right here it's a tribal band now you know a tribal band is a band it goes around your whole entire freaking arm or whatever because it's a band but anyway so this was my very first one it was a tribal band and it really didn't really have no meaning at all to me i think i got it because i really could afford that's all that i could afford and i really felt like big willy status when i got this tattoo so when i got it i was like so excited about it um because my skin doesn't heal that well i, I have keloid prone skin um i never went back to get it finished so it did kind of like fade out right here after like a couple of months and my skin kind of like scarred up so this was like the very first tattoo that i got and i was like so happy about it but now when i look at it it's like this is like really a piece of shit so like okay. the second tattoo that i got was at a tattoo party and it was at this girl's house in schenectady and we were friends i can't even remember her name you know we worked at burger king together but anyway so it was just the dragon there wasn't any of this stuff like the castle behind it it was just the dragon there wasn't any like smoke or anything it was just the dragon there wasn't any fire coming out of his mouth it was just the dragon and it looked like it was kind of like ripping out of my arm so i actually went to her house just to hang out with her it wasn't like i knew there was a tattoo party she just so happened to have like this guy over that did tattoos and i wanted to get something that was like really really scary and like wasn't great Early. I wanted to get something that really stood out and kind of was like kind of scary so that is the reason why I got the dragon over the years it did fade and it was just kind of like it just sat on my arm alone so I went ahead and I kind of like beefed it up a little bit if that's what you want to call it and I went ahead and I got the castle I wanted this entire arm to kind of be like mythical kind of like mythical creatures um, I'm not really into like the girly kind of tattoos I mean I'm feminine but I just really like it to be kind of like monstrous, kind of like scary and mythical. So I wanted this arm to really represent mythical creatures. And the mythical creatures was basically supposed to be my children. So that's where it started off with the castle. And the dragon was supposed to be me guarding my castle, basically guarding my kid's home. And it never kind of like ended up getting finished. Um he did put like a vine over it which was my ex-boyfriend's name that's where the vine came at and like there's some bats that you see which is supposed to be like my kids he added like some smoke and stuff coming out of it and he also did put like my ex-husband's name we married the time his name on it you know what i'm saying I did get the centaurs on my arm, which is, you know, half man, half horse, but these are two of them. One is of a woman and one of is of a man, which I thought was really amazing. And the reason why I got these is because my tattoo artist, he always wanted to draw like a centaur tattoo so one of them is my husband and one of them is of me like a mythical creature like you know what i'm saying it's like a really mythical creature some people believe in them some people don't and so i thought it was really kind of beautiful because they do both look very very like you know like the both of us they both look african-american um, these right here on my arm 
are actually all of my children so this one was actually orange but because of the sunlight it did fade um, and I let all of my kids choose the color that they wanted their roses to be this is my eldest and it's red this is my second eldest Tati which it was a hot pink but it kind of turned red over the years from the Sun then I have my son Jalen who we call Wuzzle and his was orange because that was his favorite color and then my daughter Janae who her favorite color was purple at the time and then Mumsy her name is Janaya. Mumsy was really young when I did this so what I did was I put out a bunch of post-it notes in front of her of different colors and I let and she chose the color like this and then the same thing goes with the stars there are five stars and each one are for my children um, this one right here is of course my wedding anniversary because you do see the diamond ring and the date that I got married, I kind of wanted to have it positioned right where the five stars was. Because. On the opposite side of my arm is a geisha lady. You guys probably can't really see, but it's not finished. But it's of a geisha woman. And this one, I think, was one of the hardest ones just because it's on my elbow bone. And it kind of did hurt a little bit. I never went back to get it colored in because I just kind of liked it the way it was. It was supposed to have this old vintage coloring but I just liked it as it was um, so the one on my neck the one on my neck is a heart it's a lock shaped in a heart and it has my ex-husband's name through it which says John um, I got this when he got locked up he went to jail for like the summer only because he was drinking so it was only for like 60 days but it just symbolized how much I loved him and like he has the key to my heart um, so on the other side he has a key of his own but um that's exactly what it means that he has a key to my heart um now this one here was me getting my own name like I don't really know what it is I don't think I really had much to do that day it was like 35 bucks so I just went ahead and put my name on it on me and then I added to it like uh, a couple years later with my husband's nickname which is Juju so, so the last one and it's not really even the last one but this one is the one that I got about a year ago of some koi fish which are kind of like good luck and I've never actually got it finished um, but underneath it is a portrait picture of my ex-husband and I just I just covered it up because I got tired of looking at him and I was going through some things here the black is his hair there's his ear and stuff and so I really have to go back and get it done because the colors really didn't come out as vibrant as I had one thing to be at the bottom was a band around my arm that said John and he has one that says April so he still has his and I just went and got the whole thing covered up but I mean it did come out pretty nice but like I said I never went back to get it finished so when like, you get tattoos you really have to know like are you gonna be with the person forever um, I do like the way it came out they did a really good job but I do need to um get it done do I want more tattoos definitely because I want both of my arms to be a sleeve I figure why not if you're gonna just do all of this you might as well just go all out so you know I do love getting tattoos it's um a work of art for me I don't have anywhere else in my body but my arms and on my neck um, so I will I will add more to them I will get this finished probably within like the next few months because I have found someone that will finish it but I do want to add like my grandkids names on it and like my dogs names and stuff like that and just like other things that I really do like I do think that they're really really addicting sometimes I don't regret it and sometimes I do I think the most times that I regret it is like when I get really really dressed up you know what I'm saying I have to go somewhere really really fancy um, I have to basically wear something that covers me up um, but I, I used to feel that way now if I wear a sleeveless dress and it's somewhere really really dressy I don't really care um, because this is who I am I mean like sometimes it's like you know I really do wish that I didn't have them and like a lot of people stereotype people that have tattoos they feel like when you have a tattoo that you're like in a gang or you're like like this gang banger or you're like not really a great person but I would love a whole sleeve full of tattoos I don't know about my whole entire body but as far as my arms I would definitely love them covered so I don't really regret them at all. I kind of regret the ones that I've covered up, like with my ex-husband. I wish I wouldn't have. Um, that's just the only one that I don't regret covering, um, that I regret covering up. But other than that, I love them all, and I wouldn't change a thing about them. So, yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about my tattoos. And so stay diva and divalicious. I love you guys, and I'll see you in this soon-to-come video.